In a media statement, ACP Andrews said this warning is in the interest of public safety, and so police in NCD will not entertain any protest march. His men will be out in full force to ensure that the room at protest march does not take place. Meantime, there is a growing concern through social media among Papua New Guineans over the lack of action taken by the government in addressing what they called rampant corruption. Activist Noel Angel last week on behalf of social media forum PNG News made an appeal to everyone to participate in the march which did not eventuate. Mr. Angel said police have been notified and are aware of the march. Uh, the purpose of setting this uh, peaceful protest is to demand uh, the government under the leadership of uh, Prime Minister Peter O'Neill to uh, review some decisions and take appropriate actions. However, NCD Metropolitan Superintendent Andy Bauer said they have disapproved any public demonstration. We're not stopping anyone from expressing uh, their views. Everybody has the right to express their views. Okay? But we would want it to be expressed in a forum where it is appropriate. Basically, our assessment was uh, based on the overall security and safety of our city residents. Looking at the sensitivity of the issues that they have raised, uh, looking at the comments that they have made on Facebook, on the social media, uh, many of the uh, issues and comments that they have raised can, like I stated on my paper or on my comment, that it can lead to a lot of chaos, unseen circumstances. Mr. Bauer said public gathering will be classified as illegal and those leading will be subjected to the law. Protests and gatherings of any nature will be seen as illegal and unauthorized. So any persons or person who may be planning to or intending to stage any protest or any gatherings around the city will be seen as illegal, unauthorized and will be subject to the rule of law. He assured city residents, business houses and the general public that tomorrow will be normal as any other days. Michelle Amba, National NTV News.